Hi there, this is Stephen Gonzalez with Stephen Gonzalez VoiceOvers. How are you doing today? In this Rapid Reaper report, we're going to be dealing with something that came up in the Reaper VoiceOver Facebook group, specifically something to do with the track control panel or the TCP. So let's just go right into it. Here we have Reaper, and it's a really condensed version of Reaper because this is basically what you want to do whenever you're recording. You want Reaper to have a small presence, a presence, but a, a small presence. So that way you can concentrate more on the copy. The only thing that you need Reaper for to be visible really is to ensure that it's recording. You know, there have been horror stories. I think you've heard them many times where this audiobook narrator, for example, would be going along and they're 15, 20 minutes into a chapter or whatever, and they realize that they hit the play button, not the record button. Well, that's why you would have Reaper visible. But the only reason why you would need the track control panel visible are for two things, really. To label the track, which you always do before you record, and to ensure that the gain staging is proper between negative 12, negative 6, or just below negative 3, whatever it happens to be for you. Once this is assured, then we really don't need the TCP anymore. So how do we get rid of it and give more space to the arrange area where we can actually see the waveform. Well, actually, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is go to the boundary between the TCP and the arrange area. And oh, by the way, this boundary will also change the width of the toolbar. So when we make the TCP disappear, we're going to make the icon toolbar also disappear. And again, for recording purposes, we really don't need it. The way that we have to think about this is that the boundary for the TCP and for the icon toolbar has two modes, a right mode and a left mode. Right now, by default, it's in the right mode. To toggle left and right modes, we simply go to the boundary and double click it. So whenever I double click this right mode boundary, it now shifts to the left mode and you see that the icon toolbar and TCP are gone. Actually, what's happened is it's sort of been shrunk down to almost nothing, but you still have the boundary there. You see it right there, okay? So if you double click on it again, it toggles back to the right mode, and then we can do whatever we need to do and go back. Now, let's say that we don't want the TCP to completely be disappeared. We want, say, the track number and track name, and that's okay. Well, what we would do is adjust the left mode boundary, and there's your track number, there's your track name, and that's all we would need. And then we double click, and of course, it goes back to the right mode, and we can adjust that. Let's say we needed to go to here. Well, then if I double click on it, it goes to left mode. There's the number and the track name. And if I double click again, you'll see that it is indeed compressed where we had it. In left mode especially, uh, if we do this, then what we could do is some people are comfortable with only 15 seconds visible of the waveform. Well, we could then shrink the window to about 15 seconds and really make it to where Reaper has a presence, but a very, very, very small presence. And then if we ever need the TCP again, we double click, we'd relabel it if we need to or whatever and we go back. So that is how we make the TCP disappear using those boundary modes, left and right modes. I hope this was helpful. Remember that I'm gonna be making videos about every week or every other week or so with little tidbits like this. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so, it helps the algorithm. Also hit that like button and hit that bell, setting it to all. And tell your friends about this channel also. Share this video with them if they have any kind of issues with their TCP or whatever. So this is Stephen Gonzalez with Stephen Gonzalez VoiceOvers, wishing you all the best, and you have a wonderful and wonder-filled day.